and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams so as we all know every Sunday at 11 a.m. in the morning uh, we come up with this revision series uh, in the past we have done part 1 and part 2 this is the part 3 of uh, the revision series for MHCET entrance exam so let's just start with the first question of the day am I audible Very are we have already done part 1 and part 2 so go and watch that also okay in the same YouTube channel you will find it yeah. So let's start with, I have told you, so I am starting a revision series from September 2023 current affairs. So in part 1 and part 2, I have discussed the entire September month. And this is part 3, I will be discussing the first half of the October month of current affairs. So let's start in October 2023. Which of the following unions uh, conducted their maiden, but the maiden was the first joint naval exercise in a bid to boost maritime security cooperation to support the region. Your options are Soviet Union, African Union, European Union, Asian Union. What is the right answer to this question? Aapko ye batana hai ki isme se koon se union ne pehli bar joint maritime and naval exercise kiya hai. And they have done it in Gulf of Guinea. So what is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is C. Yes, Gargi, you are right. European Union is the right answer to this question. India and European Union has conducted this in the Gulf of Guinea on the west coast of Africa. Okay. So, in the first India, European Union carry out naval drills in Gulf of Guinea. India ke saath mein kare kiya, hai? So, where is Gulf of Guinea? So, where is India? This is Africa continent. Right. And this region, hai, this is Gulf of Guinea. So, in this region, actually, you have written here, Gulf of Guinea. This is the place where uh, India as well as the entire European Union uh, Navy conducted joint naval exercise. Okay, yes, Arva Punawala, you are also right. C is the right answer, European Union. Uh, the next is in October, which are the following states set up a pilot production facility of graphene, which will cost 200 crore. Now, graphene is actually a very uh, important in nanotechnology. Yeah, no? it's, a, uh, it's used in various, it has a lot of unique uh, features and because of which it is used in uh, various industries and in semiconductor industries, in nanotechnology, in making uh, smartphones, technology and many other things. So this is very important and this is being set up in the state of Kerala. Yes, Arva Punawala, Gargi, you all right. D is the right answer to this question. Kerala government has set up a pilot production facility of graphene which will cost 200 crore. Anna, set up 200 crore graphene production facility in PPP means public-private partnership. It means it is a joint venture of uh, the government as well as the private companies. Okay. Yes, this is graphene. This graphene ka structure hota hai. And it has a lot of application in biological engineering, optical electronics, many other fields, photovoltaic sale uh, manufacturing. Mein. In these things, it is used. Uh, the next is question number three. Who among the following has been appointed as Indian Women's Cricket Board Coach by BCCI? Board of Control for Cricket in India is BCCI. Indian Women's Cricket Head Coach Gautam Gambhir, Abol Mazumdar, Rahul Dravid, Sajin Tadulkar. What is the right answer? Yes, 2 ka D was the right answer. Gargi, GK, you all were right. Huh? 3 ka answer, bato. yes, the right answer is option B. Yes, GK, uh, you are right. Anna. Amol Mazumdar, Muzumdar uh, would take over as Indian Women's Cricket Head Coach. So, B is the right answer to this question. Yes, Arva Punawala, Gargi, you all are right. B is the right answer. BCCI appoints Amun Mazumdar as India Women Senior Team Head Coach. So just remember it, that's important. Uh, the next is in October, which are the following institutions signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding with Airbus to promote research in advanced technology and develop program and activities to enhance technical capabilities. Airbus is an aeroplane manufacturing company. Hai na? Aeroplane manufacturing company. Okay, so what is the right answer? Yes, uh, B is the right answer. Yes, Rahul Gautam Gambhir, mentor of KKR. Very good. Uh, Rahul David, men's team head coach. Yes, Arva Punawala, you are right. Huh. Here the right answer is B. IIT Kanpur is the right answer. GK, you were right. Huh, nah. IIT Kanpur and Airbus have signed an MOU to promote research in advanced technology. So, B is the right answer to this question. And IIT Kanpur and Airbus collaborate to boost aerospace talent base in India. Okay. And Airbus is a Netherlands company. Hai. Okay. So, just have an idea about it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Who among the following has been appointed as the Prime Minister of Slovakia? Zuzana Kapitov, Robert Fico, Michael Kovac, Rudolf Skuster. Slovakia is actually a country. You will find it in Europe. 
इनके प्राइम मिनिस्टर का नाम बताना है द राइट आंसर इज रॉबर्ट फीको सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है अपॉइंटेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्लोवाकिया ओके रॉबर्ट फीको टू अटेंड यूरोपियन यूनियन समिट यस द राइट आंसर इज बी इज द राइट आंसर ओके यस ओके वेर इज स्लोवाकिया लेट मी शो इन द मैप सो वेर इज इंडिया दिस इज यूरोप ठीक है and here you will find slovakia in the europe okay uh, the next is who among the following is the author of the book the lords of vankhede which was unveiled at a star studded function your options are w b raman and r kaushik yuvraj singh and r kaushik vivs lakshman and r kaushik saurav ganguly and r kaushik the lords of the vankhede book dekho uh, actually kya hua what happened was in 2011 india world the world cup final in vankhede stadium you will find vankhede stadium in mumbai i hope you are aware okay yes so about this a book has been written by uh, w v raman and r kaushik so a is the right answer yes g k gargi you are right hai na so a is the right answer hai na former indian cricketer w v raman and senior journalist r kaushik has written this book hai na so you can see it uh the next is in october which are the following state launched as swam purna e bazar online platform to give market to different kinds of product made by self help group and women so to promote uh, actually the local level pe it's a g jo the na wala product banate hain ya local uh, level production or the, let's say uh, a local product which needs to be sold at e market hai na or e commerce platform hai so which state government has launched this to promote the local uh, goods and products so the right answer is the state of goa so c is the right answer स्वयं पूर्णा ई बाजार ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म एज बी लॉन्च ओके यस सो सी इज द राइट आंसर यस गो इज द राइट आंसर है ना ओके द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट हो मंग दॉलिंग हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड नेशनल मेडल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाई यूएस प्रेसिडेंट जो बाइडन एट द व्हाइट हाउस योर ऑप्शन आर अशोक गैडगिल एंड सुब्रा सुरेश स्टीव वोजनिया एंड सुब्रा सुरेश अशोक गैडगिल एंड फ्रैंक एल स्टोलिन John T. Pearson and Steve Wozniak. What is the right answer? National Medal of Technology and Innovation 2023 Award by Joe Biden at White House. Who gave it? So there are two Indians who have got it. So you should know it. And the right answer is option A. Ashok Gadgil and Subra Suresh. So A is the right answer to this question. Eight ka A answer hai. Theek hai. Two Indian Americans. Indian Americans means they are an Indian origin person, but they are living in America. And so Ashok Gadgil and Subra Suresh. So A is the right answer. this question okay uh, the next one is in october 2023 which are the following countries india has announced plans to resume visa services for certain categories your options are sri lanka japan france canada see what happened was i hope you are aware in september uh, the india canada uh, the uh, some diplomatic relations uh, there were some issues in diplomatic relations uh, for uh, for a while they actually stopped visa services however we have decided to resume it with canada so d is the right answer yes gk you are right d is the right answer to this question and india has announced plans to resume visa services for certain categories amid a diplomatic crisis with canada so d is the right answer uh so uh, these things were there that uh, justin trudeau uh, uh, put allegation that uh, nijjar killing was done by india and all and later on things uh, i mean the the diplomatic relations actually started going down however uh, in october uh, the nation india decided to resume the visa services yes Yes, GK, you are right, huh? huh? So D is the right answer. Yes, Gargi, you are right, huh? Justin Trudeau is actually the Prime Minister of Canada. Now the next is in October, which of the following cities uh, Union Tribal Minister Mr. Arjun Munda inaugurated National Tribal Festival? Yeah, Adi Mahotsav dikha na Hindi mein koi. In Gandhi Nagar, Ahmedabad, Surat, Rajkot. Kahan inaugurate kiya tha? Aapko batana hai. So the right answer is B. Ahmedabad is the right answer to this question. Okay, so B is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next is in October 2023. Which of the following countries uh, led in acquiring foreign citizenship according to a recent OECD report? Your options are Canada, China, India, Malaysia. What is the right answer? Hi, so earlier B was the answer. Yes. Gargi, you are right. You are right. 
so the right answer is actually india is much ahead and so in, uh, indians are at the forefront of acquire uh, uh, forefront of migrating to oecd countries oecd means of organization of economic cooperation in developing nations and uh, so uh, organization of economic cooperation and development actually these are rich nations the developed nations and so indians both are way ahead in actually acquiring foreign countries citizenship so the right answer is c is the right answer india is the right answer theek hai so india kafi ahead hai india dominate the list of immigrants acquiring citizenship in rich nations matlab ye hai ki indians kafi ahead hain dusre country mein jo ameer country wahan jaate hain aur wahan ki citizenship lene mein so they are very much ahead in that okay and this is what we call uh, it's a line by the theory of brain drain so a lot of talented people uh, actually we lose because they go in other countries okay uh the next is question number 12 who among the following has been elected as the speaker of house of representative of usa i hope we have discussed it uh that we have two houses in america and what we call it as congress is the name of the parliament of america having two houses and a house of representative and senate so house of representative speaker was ousted few months back and and the new uh, speaker has been elected uh, what is his name yes the right answer is mike johnson and kevin mccarthy was removed okay so he was remo- he was the first speaker in the history of usa hai na to be removed hai na and after uh, replacing him was mike johnson so b is the right answer to this question theek hai kevin mccarthy jo log d answer kar rahe hain remove kiya gaya tha kevin mccarthy ko jo naye banaye gaye wo hai mike johnson so b was be- would be the right answer and d was removed theek hai एंड पहली बार हिस्ट्री में हुआ था कि स्पीकर ऑफ हाउस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव वाज रिमूव्ड ओके सो हियर द राइट आंसर इज बी एंड रिपब्लिकन माइक जॉनसन इलेक्टेड न्यू यूएस हाउस यूएस हाउस स्पीकर ओके है ना सो जस्ट रिमेंबर इट द नेक्स्ट हुमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज नेशनल आइकन ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन बाय चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर राजीव कुमार विकी कौशल आयुष्मान खुराना रणवीर सिंह राजकुमार राव व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन नेशनल आइकन बाय चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर मिस्टर राजीव कुमार किसको बनाया गया राइट आंसर इज यस ठीक है यू आर राइट राजकुमार राव डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन है ना इज अ न्यूटन एक्टर मींस ही एक्टेड इन द फिल्म गॉड एज न्यूटन सो यस गार्गी स्काई राइट यू आर राइट डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 14 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इनिशिएटेड नेशनल हैकाथन वीमर्स 2023 CBI National Security Council Bureau of Police Research and Development Intelligence Bureau what is the right answer to this question Vimars 2023 National Hackathon kisne organize kiya hai Hackathon matlab kya hota hai actually it's a sort of a open competition to uh, the coders hai na actually yes so those who are in computer engineering field can understand uh, it more easily yes the right answer is uh, Bureau of Police Research and Development ne organize kiya tha yes gk you are right c is the right answer to this question we must 2023 has been organized now why it has been organized hackathon to identify tools for safe usage of 5g technology because now 5g technology is coming and all and there can be misuse and also to ensure that uh, it should be used in a safe manner this competition was done and uh, by the police uh, yes gargi arva purawala you all are right uh, the next is in october 2023 which of the following uh, uh, cities prime minister modi inaugurated rrts regional rapid transport uh, transit system corridor delhi noida meerut delhi ghaziabad noida delhi ghaziabad meerut delhi ghaziabad gurugram priority section of rrts regional rapid transit system so the right answer is uh, c delhi ghaziabad meerut is the right answer to this question theek hai yes gk you are right ha Now, अब RRTS क्या होता है देखो है ना गाजियाबाद मेरा टाट आर टी एस लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट रीजन रैपिड ट्रांसिट सिस्टम इस तरह कुछ होता है समथिंग ये मेट्रो ट्रेन टाइप होती है ठीक है दिस इज द फोटो ऑफ आर आर टी एस ठीक है है ना so, इसको पढ़ लेना डेली गाजियाबाद मेरा सो एटी टू पॉइंट वन फाइव किलोमीटर लॉन्ग दिस कॉरिडोर हैज बीन सेटअप एन ऑल इन दिस रिगार्ड सो सी इज द राइट आंसर यस गार्गी जी के ऑल वे राइट है ना दिव्यांशु स्काई राइट यू ऑल आर राइट सी जिन्होंने भी सी आंसर किया यू ऑल आर राइट uh the next is in october which are the following minister uh, countries minister of state for external affairs and parliamentary affairs mr v murli dharan will play his third official visit and a will to nahi hoga played or paid hoga because not it's a past paid his 
third official visit and also inaugurated painting exhibition India on Canvas Masterpiece of Modern Indian Painting. Actually, he visited there. Mr. V. Murli Dharan is an external affairs minister, minister, minister of state. Look, actually, what is a cabinet minister hote, ek MOS hai, minister of state we call it as the same ministry mein hote, so sometimes there are multiple minister of state in one ministry so he's one of the foreign affairs uh, minister minister of state mein, rank mein, and his name is mr v murli Dharan, and he uh, is going to pay a visit uh, to oman actually and he visited oman actually because now it's passed india on canvas masterpiece of modern indian painting so is the right answer yes gargi sky right divyan show sun uh, Sanyam Raj Jain, you all are right, GK, yes. So, uh, uh, yeah, but the, here is India. Uh, this is India, this is Oman. Okay? The capital of Oman is Muscat. Okay. Now, uh, India on canvas, painting I hope you are aware of this. So, if you are a painting lover, you must be knowing it. These are called as canvas painting. Okay? These are the, some of the images. Right? So, here is actually the union minister visiting these places and all. Okay, uh, the next one is what is the rank of India in Global Pension Index 2023? 44, 45, 46, 47. Global Pension Index may India ke rank it. Anyone? So the right answer is B. 45th is the right answer to this question. Uh, Anna. So earlier 41 tha, now we have actually dropped it to 45. So B is the right answer to this question. Okay. And Netherlands has the best score. So just have an idea. India slips 45th position in Global Pension Index 2023. Okay. Uh, the next is in October 2023, which of the following state won gold at Cambrian Patrol Exercise 2023 held in the UK? Your options are Latvia, Pakistan, Denmark, India. Gold at Cambrian Patrol Exercise held in UK. So it's actually Indian Army has won it. Okay. So Indian Army won gold medal at Cambrian patrol exercise held in UK while competing against 96 teams. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay, just before moving on, uh, on 25th February at 6 p.m. we'll be having a free session. That is today is 25th February, so at 6 p.m. So download our app, go to CLAT section. We'll be having a session, time management test for CLATs and board with Nivedita ma'am uh, today at 6 p.m. And then on 28th February at 6 p.m. we'll be having a session 5 steps to ace CLAT 2025. Again on our app, the app hai, download karna. Go to CLAT section, you will get this. The link is given in the description also from where you can uh, download. Hana. And talk to our counselor button and click there. You will get to know more about our courses. Uh, yeah, 2025 ka comprehensive course is there. This is 2024 test series is there and all. Achha, ek description box mein jana, one on one counseling session ka link diya One on one counseling session. Okay. So click on that link and fill that Google form as well. Okay, that would be very, very beneficial. Just go in the description box. Now the next is what is the rank of India in Global Remote Work Index 2023? 65, 64, 63rd, 62nd. What is the right answer? Devyansho, please keep on following our classes. Okay, that would be very, very beneficial. Moreover, we are running a separate paid batch also for MHCT exam. So you can uh, click, uh, call on this number, okay, aap jana, download our app, go to talk to our counselor and they will tell you more about this course. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the rank of India in Global Remote Work Index 2023? So the right answer is B, 64th is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, among the worst, worst countries to work remotely and all. Uh, the next is in October, which of the following has been appointed as India's next permanent representative, United Nation and related global bodies in Geneva? United Nation is the main headquarters, you will find it in New York. But United Nation had other offices also. So one of the offices in Geneva in Switzerland. So Indian ambassador to UN office at Geneva who has been appointed. This is the question. Can you please tell me what is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is Mr. Arindam Bhakti. Yeah, he was earlier a spokesperson of external affairs ministry. So D is the right answer. Yes, Gargi, you are right. Huh? Okay. Uh, India's next ambassador to UN in Geneva is Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bhakti. Yes, Gargi, you are right. Huh? Good. Uh, you can see here India. Hai. This is Europe. Here you will get a city in Switzerland. Ke west mein ek city milega, Geneva. 
यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ हेडक्वार्टर लाइक डब्ल्यू एच ओ का हेडक्वार्टर यहाँ मिलेगा डब्ल्यू टी ओ का हेडक्वार्टर यहाँ मिलेगा डब्ल्यू एम ओ का हेडक्वार्टर यू विल फाइंड इट हेयर ठीक है इनफैक्ट यूनाइटेड नेशन की कई सारी ऑफिस यू विल फाइंड इट इन जेनेवा सो जेनेवा इज अटी इन स्विटरलैंड फेमस फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ हेडक्वार्टर्स ठीक है Arindam Bakshi was a spokesperson all earlier. Now, now uh, a new spokesperson has been appointed. So go and find out his name also. Okay. Acha, chalo. After the class was over, write it. So once he has been appointed as a spokesperson, uh, as the UN uh, India's permanent representative to United Nations Geneva, who is the new spokesperson of Foreign Affairs Ministry? Please go and find out and answer it in the comment section. Niche comment section me answer kijiye ga. Okay. Uh, the next is what is the percentage growth of female labor force participation rate in the country according to periodic labor force survey? Five percent, ten percent, thirty-seven percent, twenty percent. What is the right answer? Female labor force participation rate में percentage growth कितना है? Yes, very good. Arva Puna Vala Randhi Jaiswal is new spokesperson. Good. Huh? Uh, the right answer is C, thirty-seven percent. Just remember it, है ना? ओके द नेक्स्ट वन आप देख सकते हो फीमेल लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन थर्टी सेवन परसेंट सो सी इज द राइट आंसर यस गार्गी यू आर राइट सी इज द राइट आंसर द नेक्स्ट इज विच आर द फॉलोइंग फिल्म हैज बीन एट जज एज द बेस्ट फीचर फिल्म फॉर द इयर इन सिक्स नाइन्थ नेशनल फिल्म अवार्ड्स न्यू डेली आर 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 रॉकेटरी मीमी गांगो बाई काथियावाड़ी वॉट इज द राइट आंसर Best feature film for Section Nine National Film Award. So the answer is the rock, uh, rocketry. B is the right answer. Uh, it is based on the life of Mr. Nambi Narayan. Na, no. Nambi Narayan, ISRO ke chairman the na scientist. Uh, uh, ISRO ke one of the famous scientists the na. So there's a film on him. Na, so B is the right answer. Yes, Arva Poonawala Sky Right. You all are right. B is the right answer to this question. And a Section Nine National Film Awards uh, given by uh, presented by Draupadi Murmu, the president of India. Na. So go and read more about it. Uh, the next is in October, which of the following city became first woman-centric police station across the entire country to be conferred with international organization for standardization certificate, ISO certificate? The other thing. So first woman-centric police station who has got it? So it is in the city of Bhopal, Chennai, Bangalore, Varanasi. What is the right answer? Yes, rocketry ke uh, director hai R Madhavan. Yes, Arva Pona wala, you are right. Huh? इसका आंसर बताइए आईएसओ सर्टिफिकेट मिला है वोमेन सेंट्रिक पुलिस स्टेशन को द राइट आंसर इज भोपाल सो इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया सो इज द राइट आंसर भोपाल भोपाल महिला थाना गेट्स आईएसओ सर्टिफिकेशन आईएसओ 9001 2015 सर्टिफिकेट सो यस आर एम एफ पुनवर गुड राइट इज द राइट आंसर जीके यू वर आल्सो राइट इज द राइट आंसर है ना आईएसओ सर्टिफिकेशन वगैरह दिया था इसको पढ़ लीजिएगा थोड़ा सा जस्ट गोइंग रीड इट द नेक्स्ट इज इन अक्टूबर 2023 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेसेस इंडियन आर्मी एस्टैब्लिश्ड वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट मोबाइल टावर एंड बेस ट्रांस रिसीवर स्टेशन गुरुंग हिल सियाचिन ग्लेशियर गुन हिल ईस्टर्न लद्दाख वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली बीएसएनएल की मदद से एस्टैब्लिश किया गया मतलब बीएसएनएल हैज एस्टैब्लिश्ड दिस टावर in actually siachen so b is the right answer and this is actually the highest battlefield in the world kaha tha na na of course and this is strategically very important it has been installed with the help of bsnl bhatiya bharat sanjar nigam limited so i hope you are aware yes sky right gargi gk you are right first ever mobile tower in siachen glacier world's highest battlefield anand mahindra dots move theek hai aur ye strategically it is very very important hai na ओके एंड इट्स वेरी टफ एक्चुअली बिकॉज वहां पे बहुत ठंड पड़ती है ना सो दैट इज वॉट शुड बी डूइंग इट इट्स अ वेरी टफ एरिया है ना नॉट एवरी वन कैन गो देर एंड ऑल सो यस बी इज द राइट आंसर यस अरवा पोना वाला जी के यू आर राइट द नेक्स्ट इज वॉट परसेंटेज ग्रोथ हैज बिन फॉरकास्टेड इन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी बाई पावर मिनिस्टर और बाई पावर एंड न्यू रेनुएबल एनर्जी मिनिस्ट्री फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी वन परसेंट फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट कि 2030 तक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल का ग्रोथ कितना परसेंट होगा इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यू नो इट कॉजेस लेस पोल्यूशन एंड ऑल है ना इट वर्क्स ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक बैटरी एंड आल्सो द राइट आंसर इज डी 45 परसेंट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो डी इज द राइट आंसर यस यस जीके यू आर राइट है ना 
टीवी रेडी इंडिया डैशबोर्ड ये समिट हुआ था उसमें The next is what is the rank of India in Global Hunger Index 2023. And the organization India ranks 111 11 out of 125. And the organizations, no. so uh, it's a score of 28.7. Just remember it. Okay. And these are the four parameters under nourishment, child wasting, child stunting, child mortality. No. And which of the following actually has got rank one? So, this is the organization Wealth, Hunger, Health, and Concerned Worldwide. This is a German organization. And they are actually responsible for coming up with global hunger index. Look, actually, 1 to 27 rank a country ko diya, matab, to, uh, total uh, 27 countries ko ek hi rank diya gaya. Shuru ke, dekho. So, Belarus, Bosnia, Chile, China, Croatia, ye sare ko na 1 to 27 rank ke andar dala gaya. Thik hai. So, uh, uh, isme ko ek rank 1 nahi hai. So, uh, rank 1 to 20 dala gaya. Sorry, haan. 1 to 20 ke beech. Sorry. Thik hai. So, here, you can say ki because one of them is here mentioned, but you should remember this. Haan. Uh, yes, uh, Belarus was correct. Uh, the next is the ninth parliamentary speaker summit of G20 was held in which place? In, uh, we are talking about October 2023. That was a logic lag of G20 summit last year. Where was it? India. 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 And other Science 20, G20, uh, Business 20. So, there will be parliamentary 20. So, C is the right answer to this question. Okay. And this theme of one earth, one family, one future was the theme of G20. We have discussed it so many times. Right? So, C is the right answer. Yes, GK, you are right, huh? Uh, the next one is how much financial aid has Asian Development Bank agreed to provide Bangladesh for manufacturing vaccines against various diseases? 338 million dollar, 390 million dollar, 303 million dollar, 300 million dollar. What is the right answer? ADB ne kitna, lo, kitna amount diya, so the right answer is 338 million dollar. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay, yes. ADB to provide 338 million dollars for vaccine production in Bangladesh. Okay. ADB ka headquarter, you will find it in Philippines, Manila, mein. you will find headquarter of ADB, Asian Development Bank. Yes, A is the right answer. Yes. Okay. Uh, the next is who is the winner of 2022 Saraswati Samman Award? Raghuveer Chaudhary, Satya Narayan, Sitanshu, Yash Chandra. Uh, Yashas Chandra, Yash Shiva, Shiva Shankar. What is the right answer? The right answer is D. Shiva Shankar is the right answer to this question. Tamil Nadu writer Shiva Shankar won prestigious Saraswati Samman Award. Okay. Okay. You can see the Shiva Shiva Shankar. And she has got for her book, Surya Vamsam is the name of the book. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay, and Saraswati Saman Award is given in 22 languages, and mentioned in the uh, eighth schedule. So in 22, my school language man, given by KK Birla Foundation. So just have an idea about that. And uh, the next is uh, uh, which of the following cities hosted 2023 International Olympic Committee session? Chandigarh, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai. What is the right answer? Those are the International Olympic Committee session was hosted by. The right answer is D. Mumbai is the right answer to this question. Okay. So the second ever IOC session uh, was held after a gap of 37 years. So second, pahla was 1993 in New Delhi, mein, second ho hai Mumbai. Mein. Okay, so D is the right answer after a gap of 37 years. Uh, yes. Uh, the next one is, who among the following created the record for the fastest century ever by an Indian in the history of World Cup? Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, Rishabh Pant, Hartik Pandya. What is the right answer? Fastest century ever in World Cup. Kisne mara hai? The right answer is Roy Sharma is the right answer. Hai na? 31st ODI century thi and he uh, smashed it in 63 balls, which is the fastest. Hai na? World Cup may century marna fastest. Hai tha. Hai? So, 
the next one is the, now let's learn some previous year question as well. Anna. So who was the governor general of India during the revolt of 1857? When I paid classes, I have already taught. So those who are my paid batch student can easily answer it. Lord Dalhousie, Lord Cornwallis, Lord Canning, Lord Mountbatten. What is the right answer? Governor general of India during the revolt of 1857. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is C, Lord Canning. Yes, GK, you are right now. Huh? Uh, very good. So, you should be able to Good. Uh, the next is Dalal Street is in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata. Yes, huh? Gargi Sky, right? You are right, huh? Or Vakunavala, Lord Canning. Dalal, Dalal Street, kaha milega aapko? And it is famous for what? This is the place where you will find the office of Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay. Yes, the right answer is B. Mumbai is the right answer to this question. In the last street, the Bombay Stock Exchange ki building is right? And uh, actually, uh, Bombay Stock Exchange, and this was also No, ki this question was also asked. Asia's oldest stock market, this was asked last year. Asia's oldest stock market. What is the right answer? Tell Asia's stores, oldest stock market is Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay. 1875. Okay. 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 Now, a uh, similar type of question can be asked is which of the following is referred to as Mint Street? Is this Mint Street? Yes. Oh, Asia's oldest stock market is Bombay Stock Exchange. Kafi Sara Logan Likha, Gargi, GK, Skyrate, Arva, Ponavala, you are right. Mint Street is a question. I have a question. I have a mint street. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have Yes, GK, you are right. RBI is an office. Hai na, so, Mint Street is a question. So, if you read Wikipedia, mein likha bhi, the bank is referred to as Mint Street as well. Hai. Mumbai is a headquarter. Hai na, mint street. So, B is the right answer. Huh. Uh, minting of coins, so then coins ko banani ko amlok term likhte English hai, minting of coins. So B is the right answer. Supreme Court ke building jay koon se road mein? Tilak Mark mein hai na? Tilak Mark. Delhi. You Delhi bhi likhsakte ho ha? So yeah, the right answer is B. Yes, Kai right, Arva Puramala, you are right. Uh, who was the chairman of drafting committee? Ye bhi sawal aaya tha. Yeah, this is very easy question, I guess. Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhim Rao Ambedkar, Rajendra Prasad, Subhash Chandra Bose. What is the right answer? Chairman of Drafting Committee. The right answer is Bhim Rao Ambedkar. So B is the right answer, hai na? So he is considered as the Chief Architect of Indian Constitution. Ye sab word bhi likha tha unke liye na. Chief Architect of Indian Constitution. And another word is used for him, actually. Uh, 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 he actually a cause of all it okay he called uh, which article which article of the Constitution he called it as heart and soul of the Constitution Anyone? This question was, I think, also asked in ALIT exam and different exams. Which article he called it as heart and soul of the constitution? Anyone? So the answer is article 32. Ah, ye bhi pucha gaya tha exam mein. So you should remember it. Yes, Gargi, you are right. Ah. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's exam prep app. Just name me article 32 answer gaya. You all are right. Ah. So thank you everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.